In this video, I'm going over setting up time shift backup and restore in Linux. So what is time shift? It's, it's mainly a backup and restore software. A lot of Windows users coming to Linux go, hey, I need something to back up my software. Uh, what's a good software I can go buy and all these other questions. Well, with Linux, they have some of the best backup softwares in the industry. Uh, not only is it better than the $100 or $200 software you might buy on Windows, you know, doing like a block-based Acronis backup or something like that from Windows is really not even needed when it comes to Linux because of a software called TimeShift. TimeShift is excellent. It uses something called snapshots and it basically does a full copy and then does little snapshots throughout your daily, monthly, or boot. And I'm going to go over all these options today and you set it up however you want your backups to work. Uh, the best part of this, let's say your system becomes non-bootable, you can easily boot back into like a recovery environment run time shift and then just pick the day you want to restore to so just imagine it is like a system restore on steroids uh, it's very very fast it's very good at what it does so if you do have a bad update or whatever you have going on it can easily restore back to that date and time which is excellent so with all that said let's go ahead and get into it let me show you how to install it and also configure it and then finally restore if you need to Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump right in here. As far as installations, it is available on a variety of Linux distributions. However, it can vary from distribution to distribution. So Ubuntu-based distributions, you can go ahead and just add this repos uh, repository and then hit the update and install it directly using APT. However, if you need to do this, you need to, uh, or you have a different distribution, you need to download it from the releases here and run it. Uh, one caveat to this is in Arch, you can just go ahead and pull up Pomac and it'll just go ahead and build it for you. So I'll show you that real fast since I'm on an Arch-based system. Uh, basically, all you need to do is type time shift into here, and then you can easily just install it directly from the community. So you don't actually need to download the uh, run command from the GitHub. However, I wanted to show it. So no matter what Linux distribution you're on, time shift is just an invaluable, awesome thing. Uh, so Arch and uh, Ubuntu based distributions, like I said, I'd go ahead and just use your package manager for that. But um, that said, uh, you need to come to this GitHub page right here, the TG2008 time shift and then just go to the releases page. So I'm just in the readme here. So I'm going to scroll up and show you where that is and just go to releases from here. And then you just pick the package you want to run. Uh, so if you're on um, a 64 bit system, which you probably are, you want to stick to these two packages. Um, this is a Debian based package, so just know that. If you're on Fedora or something else, you probably want this package right here, the dot run. Download that and simply run it to have it installed. With that done, let's go ahead and move over to how you configure it and backing it up. Okay, so after you've installed it, you just launch it using your launcher of choice, whether that's your, your start menu or, you know, your terminal, however you want to launch it, you can launch it. Um, so from here, you come to this screen. Uh, you need to actually first set up your snapshots. Just installing it itself does not configure it. So we're going to do that and just hit settings. Um, it asks you what type of snapshot you are. Is it ButterFS or rsync? Uh, if you're unsure, just choose rsync. Um, Personally, uh, ButterFS is, I'll touch on that just real fast and do a blip. If you're using ButterFS, uh, time, time shifts something super, super powerful because it does what's called like atomic, atomic swaps, which means real time restore. So when you click restore, it literally does it immediately and there is no delay. There's no copy process. I mean, it just pretty much just shifts everything around and you're up and going. So that's why ButterFS is so powerful, especially when it comes to snapshots and restores, as I've talked about in some previous videos. However, most people will be choosing rsync, so that's what we will do today. So you click that, and then 
you choose where you want to actually do it. So I have a ton of drives on this system here. Um, I have it going to my data disk. It's a hard disk that's six terabytes, but I have a two terabyte EXT4 um, partition that I'm using for the snapshot. You can choose anything, just don't choose the same drive that you're, you're backing up, obviously, that's not a smart move. Um, you can also do like an external drive if need be. I do recommend having a big data disk in your computer if you can. If you can't, again, an external drive will work. And then we choose what kind of schedule we want. I'm a little bit paranoid about this, so, you know, I err on the side of cautions. I like a lot of space for my backups and I don't mind it taking a lot of space. So I do monthlies and dailies. That allows me to really go far in the past because once I get my workflow set up and going, a lot doesn't change on my system. At least a lot that I care about changes. So that's why I have this set. Most people don't do monthly. Most people just do daily five days and then call it a day. Uh, some people like it, it to take a snapshot on boot. Um, however, I don't like anything going up my boot process in dailies and monthlies are just fine with me. However, you choose whatever you feel like doing. Um, users, this is what is excluded. Now I'm excluding my root and my home Titus directory. That's my user directory. Uh, this might be something you would like to include, but just note if you do include this and you restore your snapshot, let's say you had a whole bunch of documents in your home folder. Well, it's going to revert all that back to be exactly how it was at the time of snapshot. That's why you'd probably want to exclude your home directory and copy that to, you know, if you're, you're doing documents, something like that, you might use like a Google Drive or uh, a secondary system or hold it offline using a cloud sync if you're using documents. So when I say time shift is a backup and restore option, it's mainly meant for systems, not necessarily user documents, because when you you can you can use it for user documents. I just don't recommend it because I think you should be syncing those up to an important part or a separate uh, system if you can. However, if you can't and you want to replicate everything, just make sure you understand or heed my warning on this. When you include the home directory and you restore a snapshot, it will restore that home directory exactly how it was. So any uh, files you've changed in your home directory since the time of that snapshot will be restored. So uh, it's just uh, something you should know. And for most people, this really doesn't matter. You might just go ahead and click include all and then go to the next screen. You're like, hey, I don't care. I'm not on my computer every single hour of the day. And if I have to lose a day's worth of work because of it, then so be it. That's fine for you. But for me, I go ahead and sync all my important documents from my home directory to Dropbox. So I don't really need this included. Uh, so that's why this is excluded by default. I just want to kind of lay those reasonings out. Okay, as far as restoring your snapshots, you need to launch time shift and actually select the time shot time shot you're actually trying to restore. And this is really important. Uh, and you're probably asking yourself, hey, what happens if I can't launch time shift? Let's, let's say my system won't even boot, what do I do? Well, you're gonna have to go to another computer and create what's called a live USB or just an install USB. So when you installed your distribution, you did this, you grab that, you put that operating system or that distribution on a USB drive and you plugged it in to install it. Well, there's usually two options when you're installing your distribution. There's a try option where it boots into like a, a what's called a live environment and it doesn't actually change any of your settings on your computer and you can try it out. Well, that's what you want to do on from that installation media. And then from there, you can actually go through step one here and install it on that live media and launch time shift that way. And that is actually not touching any of your files or installing or doing any of that. All it's doing is just launching time shift within that safe environment from that USB media. So you get in here, you simply select your snapshot, or if you don't see any snapshots, let's say something got messed up, you would just go back into settings and then select that location from your snapshot locations. And it would all pop in here. And from here, you just select your snapshot and hit restore. 
Most of this should be filled in by default to you. As you see, I do a quite a bit of uh, partitioning and attaching. Yours is probably going to look a lot different from this as I do um, a considerable amount of stuff when it comes to my snapshots and drives. So don't don't keep too much of this. Uh, don't take much of it to heart. Yours is going to look differently. However, I will touch on one thing in there and that's the bootloader options. This actually reloads all of the bootloader and you might, if, you, if you're not having problems booting, this would be a good way to restore as well. Just know that it will reinstall Grub and reload all of your boot settings as well. But if you're unsure, when you go to restore, I would just leave most of this default. It should autofill all this stuff in for you. And then you simply hit next and it will go ahead and restore the snapshot. Now, obviously this is my live machine, so I'm not gonna do this today, but just know the snapshot is actually pretty darn quick because it's mainly just overwriting your system files and all the other stuff uh, for my home is actually left alone. So not a e pretty easy thing to do uh if you get in trouble it's just great uh i can't speak s highly enough about time shift and how it can just change your linux experience especially if you're on arch and you're constantly upgrading and trying new things this is a good way to get back to square one without all that headache of reinstallation